For today's top story, students are scrambling to find a new place to live next year. DITV's Felicity Menning and Liz Schultz talked to some students about what influenced their decision. Most of the high-priced apartment complexes include amenities like parking and a gym. For students looking for a lower-priced apartment, they might have to sacrifice having a close location and some amenities. I'd be looking for an apartment that's like moderately priced, that I'll be able to like split the cost with others with, um, one that's close to campus. Another thing that I will look for is price for apartments. The stress is all too real for the freshmen, especially after just moving in. Liz, what does the housing situation look like for next year? Exactly, Felicity. As it turns out, students are agreeing that they're having a hard time finding affordable housing. Whether it's on campus or off campus, they're all tend to agree that housing prices are way too high. Just with the economy and everything being more expensive, it ups a percentage each year no matter what. The 24 to 25 leasing year at the banks increased their rent pricing from last year due to the growing apartments economy. If you're a student, a full-time student, and you also have to work to pay rent, you know, like 550 plus a month, there's, there's no time in the week for that. When looking for an apartment, students are taking into consideration whether apartments allow pets, have parking, and are overall convenient. Well, comparable to like what other people may need, probably not affordable. It's, you know, I have a dog, and so that's a huge plus for me, how it is dog and cat and pet friendly. Whether housing will become more affordable in the future is still up in the air. This is the Pentacrest. I'm Liz Schultz. I'm Felicity Menning, DITV.